Hey everybody, SpoonVet here, and I'm with AutoScan Network this time. In our Identify Live Host section of the network mapping, we will add a network. We will say Local Network, and you can give it an icon. So I'll do... Uh, local Network. This will be Local Network. And you can add private sub nets to this one, but um, it's not really necessary. And a community name, that's pretty cool. Dynamic IP, port. A local host, because I do not need to connect to any IP addresses. So there we go. And you select a network interface, which is, I only have one. Confirm the following options. Yes, there we go. Now then, we will uh, scan. Uh, no, we will not find anything. Uh, we will initiate a scan. Where are you? Oh, view, sorry. Where is that stupid thing? Oh, there we go. You can also set up a default users. Um, let's see, SDP, which one it needs to do. With scripts, fingerprinting, you can set everything up for system names where they need to be, which gateway, if they are HTTP in there or not, it's huge. Which ports, all kinds of shit. Shizzle whizzle. Oh, let's go. Right, save them. I was going to say, go away. Uh, and network. I need to add, of course, one. What? Oh, add. Oh, that one. Sorry. I uh, need to do that one. And then 192, 1681. All right. Cool. Uh, no, uh, sorry. I need to do board. Board. Oh, name local network doesn't exist. Uh, my network and just what? Yes, what? So, and as you can see, because I've added a correct network, uh, I call it subnet here you can see what is going on I looked over the zero uh, my bad. so here you can see it's uh, this will add unknown equipment to all of so here you can see the MD5 fingerprints so now you have to look at what the hell that is I have no idea where this came from so let me It sucks. So I don't know which one it is. So I'll just say uh, cancel for now. Thank you. Um, scan in 22 seconds. Inventory. What? Yeah, OS fingerprinting. All right, so OS fingerprinting. There are a couple of unknowns out there. Um, six is unknown, one is unknown, and 50 is unknown. But I will do that in a later time, so please leave me now. 12, oh that's my phone I'm guessing. It's pretty funny. Alright, so every time you click on this it will do the whole business and I will say system name is router Nah, I can also do Linux. Bet it. Port. Oh, wait. I need to do. Ah, no. 
Uh, it's a yeah. What is it? Do that for it. Thanks about it, type router. Yes, go. So now you can see that one. Uh, this one. I also know what that one is, which is weird that it cannot find the OS. But all right. Go into a little bit of more detail what you can see on the right. Um, Unknown equipment system name will be uh, desktop type. <clears throat> well, it's a workstation. No, sorry, I'll just do Windows because that's what it has on it. It has Windows on it. Windows, win, 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 win. board. Yes, board. All right. So anyway, if you go on here. You see that FTP telnet and HTTP is open, and you can telnet it, or you can script something. Uh, here you can see that I'm set it to Linux embedded because that's what it is. As Linux, it's probably a gateway for LAN. That's like what it thinks it is, and it it is. So that's pretty cool. Inventory, you can set everything up here. What it has, what not. History, equipment, what's not. Now. Here, nothing is open, which is normal. Um, so config info, yada yada yada. Uh, but summary, it doesn't say anything here. When I go to this one, this is my um, system. So yeah, now we go here. Um, oh, this one is the window. Which one is six then? Oh, six must be the. Oh, damn! I forgot that. Six, this is my. This is my PS3. <laughs> Probably. No, it's because there's a Cisco card on it. Maybe it's my host. Because this one's a virtual machine, this is my host. Uh, that could be. This one is the Windows machine on the other thing. So you can see it has the MSRPC, uh, NetBIOS, uh, Microsoft, you know, detection services, um, uh, thermal server. So this one is ripe for the picking. This one will pop up again with this stupid thing. Yes, for after ah, that was P3 system name. Uh, who knows? It is a workstation, and it's Windows. Windows. Ford. Yes, Ford. That one is my P3. Well, anyway. Um, do, do, do. and this last one is my um, Raspberry Pi. So I will call that Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi. And what that is is a well, yeah, it's multimedia. For now, it's multimedia. It's not. Yeah, what is it? Do 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 do. Well, it's multimedia. And it's running Linux. Um, but there's not what I want on there. No, Xbox, no. I'll do a TV. Alright. Ports. So, and uh, that's true because SHHP is on there. And that one's on there because SNMB is on there to make it so I can. Uh, connect to my Raspberry Pi from my Windows box. So as you can see, that's how the scan works. So you need to set up your own network, but you can relatively easily find uh, a lot of things uh, about your um, yeah. So now these will be intruders. So now any every if one of these will connect like back to me or will do something to me, and then I can say hey that one is uh, an intruder so you can use that to kind of find out if there's a system on your network that is trying to do stuff you don't want it to do um, that's basically it for the auto scanner you can also uh, run you know your console but it's not really necessary um, 
yeah, that's that's about it, really.